so this blazer I would be styling for you today and you would see how seamlessly this just fits into my wardrobe as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so here are some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable so let's do this guys the next piece is this gorgeous piece here and you guys have seen this before I yes I thrifted this a couple few weeks ago well by the, the time you see this video it would be a while I thrifted it guys a hundred percent linen okay I'll recheck it's, it's a piece by Michael Kors I just love I just love when I say I love the fabulousness of this blazer I mean I have tons of blazers in my jacket not many whites I probably have a few a couple of whites but they are from their vintage I don't mind I would still wear them but nothing as long as this this is actually a cream mish beige piece and it's check with stripes of faded orange in it guys yeah it's a wow for me yeah it is it's a nude piece so most time neutral pieces really go well with anything in your wardrobe but the difference is at times is the way I style them I try not to be as conventional but at the same time you would see elements of that as well as my own unique twist to the way I like to wear my clothing items very right now I'm wearing it off the shoulder because I, I do that with my blazers my dresses a little bit of shoulder out I just think it's the sexiest thing ever do you agree men out there what are you a shoulder person what a leg person what okay no objectification of women okay <laughs> but so we are going to style it so I've discovered several pieces in my closet that would match beautifully with that Michael Kors blazers I just found and I'm so excited to really wear them and pair them but it's very much the same look so I wouldn't bother showing you but the three trousers they're all linen pieces so this is about 18 or 19 years old. I've had this for so long. I actually got it when, it when it was way too big, but yeah, life happens. <laughs> and I really love this piece as well. So they really pair beautifully with this blazer. Ah, oh, love them. So I'll just try this quickly. So I'm gonna pair it with these boots. I love these boots um, by Michael Kors and I just want to pick up the green from in here as well on the shirt the traditional way <laughs> So the other ways you can definitely style this piece
alternative way I often style my blazers, all of them go through this, <laughs> is I, again, it's another off-shoulder look, but this is a neat little trick to give it a new look. So you just need to slide it off the shoulder when it's backward and you take the sleeve, you push it in here like so. Don't worry, it would not be shown below. And you adjust up here. Take your favorite brooch. I know many people, they have very fancy brooches. I don't. This one has been around for a long time. And you just pin it here. Be careful not to, yeah, hurt yourself. That's a very, very, yeah. <laughs> it's a sensitive area. <laughs> Touch it right there and voila Also adjust the brooch a bit farther down so that it hides the entrance where the sleeve is located you would not know that there was actually a sleeve it looks perfect as if it's made that way I love this trick Neat little trick to really really get creative with your clothing items make them look Great again. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the political people here would know why I'm smiling. And at the same time, get more wear out of your clothing items. Yeah. For styling trick number four, I am again doing the unconventional. Oftentimes, we are told not to style oversize with oversize, to always wear a fitted top with an oversized bottom. But I would go as far as to say, it's a look for me. I love it. I think it absolutely works, especially if you do little tricks like wearing your blazer off shoulder like I just did. And... You could also belt it, <laughs> my favorite styling trick. You could also just forget that narrative. It is very passe. We are no longer subscribing to rules of the past. For me, this is a look, especially when the blazer has details such as those two splits which oftentimes a man blazer often has and when you turn it backward guys ah it's a look it's a vibe it's my thing you do you yeah, I love I it I turn everything backward on here as well yeah <laughs> I really love the way it looks I think it just it just gives the piece a completely new look and I love that. For me, people often don't know it's the same piece I'm wearing when I use this styling trick. Try it. You'll see that it works. Well guys, yes, that's how you do thrifting. Make sure that you find pieces that you need, that fits you the way you want them to, and that you're not, if I use the word, I wouldn't use the word, and that you're not 
just thrifting because it's the green thing to do because it's it's some people consider it a, a trend it's not a trend it should be a lifestyle that you have you know adopt and that you're going to continue to do as part of your sustainable journey enjoy yourself have a great evening night morning day whenever you're watching this i love you guys thank you to my new subscribers welcome aboard i love you and i'll see you soon in my next video i hope you have enjoyed that video i hope you liked the way i style these pieces and give me a thumbs up a big one just smash that button and share with your friends invite them here and let's get this channel growing and let's spread the word and tell them what you're learning i love you take care and i'll see you soon remember to always love yourself accept your perfect imperfections because it's what make you unique and absolutely drop dead gorgeous love you take care guys bye